Hi, welcome back to another reading. So this is going to be some oracle messages for whoever needs them. Keep in mind, it may resonate with your current situation. It may not. But I will ask about the remaining of February for whoever needs it. Um, for personal read information, everything is listed down below in the description box. Make sure you read the description box first before clicking the link. But um, I will not respond back to you if your message does not start off with a simple greeting like, hi, hello, good evening, good afternoon. If not, I would not respond back to you, unfortunately. But um, let's see what comes out here for you guys. What messages can I get to my subscribers, supporters, or for whoever is guided to watch this video? You okay? Yeah. What messages can I get to my subscribers, supporters? So we have a loved one in heaven that's showing up here. So loved one in heaven. Could definitely be an ancestor or um, it could be an ancestor that you do not meet, but they are surrounding you at this time. So it says, thank you, loved ones in heaven for drawing close at this time. And then we have spiritual support that's showing up here. I feel like this had showed up in the last read I had did with these cards, but your spiritual support team is definitely surrounding you, even though you cannot see them. But it says, dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you are becoming more aware that you do have a spiritual support here, especially if you don't have like, you know, physical people in your life that are supporting you. Um, really, the ones, the loved ones in heaven, like your ancestors um, or, you know, people that you new in this lifetime that transition it's like they will come through for you quicker than the people that you could have in your you know day-to-day -day life pretty much but let's see tell me more tell me more for my subscribers so we have live your joy that's coming out here and it says thank you angels for supporting me as i follow my joy so you definitely have support in regards to you following what makes you happy so yeah, it's like, as long as you're happy, that's really all that matters. So yeah, it's like, if you got to go at it alone, that's totally fine. It's like, just know that you do have some type of support, even though you can't like, you know, physically see them. For some people, you can't physically see them. But let's see, tell me more. Tell me more for my, um, we have take time to breathe and we have the miracle of nature. For some of you guys, you could definitely be needing to go outside or you will have some type of opportunity here to travel. They've been showing up a lot too. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could definitely be going on vacation here or taking some type of like vacay, like a trip. But it says, thank you angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. So yeah, I feel like for some, for some people, you could be going somewhere alone or there's gonna be an opportunity for you to like travel alone. Now be safe out there, but like, that's what it's giving. So let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for my subscribers, supporters. So we have Shine Your Light and we have Unconditional Love that's coming out here. Um, this is Archangel Uriel. So it says, thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. So yeah, a lot of you guys, you are definitely shining your light. Do not dim your light here uh, for nobody. It's like, even if... Um, look, you could be once... <laughs> You could be wanting to walk around in a um a space jumpsuit. It's like as long as that makes you happy, that's really really all that matters. But it's like either way, you're shining your light pretty much by you living your joy it's just, and just being like very high vibrational here. So let's see um what else comes out. Give me one more for my subscribers, supporters. What else are they need to know? So we got move your body that's coming out here move your body it says thank you angels for for motivating me to move my body and energy so yeah for some people you could definitely be once to like um you could be once to like move around like get out get, um like go outside get out in nature pretty much for some people let's see tell me about shine your light for my subscribers supporters so we have the nine of pentacles that came out and we got the six of cups that's showing up here too. A lot of you guys, you have definitely healed possibly. Um, I am seeing something in regards to like codependency issues or something. It's like maybe you've been doing something alone or it's like maybe you have been spending a lot of time alone here with this nine of pentacles that's showing up. But either way, it definitely shows where um, you are shining your light. This could be surrounding work or career too, but it's nine of pentacles. But let's see. I feel like you've healed from like, you know, past um, situations here too. Tell me more. Tell me um, more about Shine Your Light.
Yeah, so we got a star card showing up here too. So yeah, you are definitely shining bright, y'all, because the um with the star, it's like pretty much that's the um the um the sun is a star too. We got this five of wands that's showing up here. There could be a lot of conflict or um drama in your energy, but it definitely shows where it's like you're unbothered with the nine of pentacles and the star card. It's like you're completely unbothered. But for some people, it's almost like um your light could definitely be shining like a little too bright for some people and it could definitely be causing you know a little bit of um haterade too but you are drawing in some type of this could be like an offer this could be some type of love offer for somebody too let's see tell me more about shine your light for my subscriber supporters so we have the full card that came out seven of cups so I do feel like with the full card coming out, my ear hurting, um, with the full card coming out, there is some type of new start here that's showing up for you guys. I feel like with it shine your light coming out in the full card, um, there's going to be a situation here for, for some people. You're going to, you're going to have a choice in regards to starting new or having some type of new start. Tell me more about Shine Your Light for my subscribers, supporters. So we have the Knight of Swords that came out. The Hang one is showing up here too. I feel like for some people, you could be about to receive some type of clarity about a situation here. With this Knight of Swords that's coming out, yeah, for some people, you could definitely need to go toward something too. Um, but it kind of feels like a lot of you guys are going to have some type of new start here. But it's like your light is definitely drawing in um, some new energies. That was showing up in another read too. But I don't know why that um, Five of Wands came out. What's this Five of Wands about for my subscriber supporters? Okay, so we got the five of swords that came out. Whatever that conflict is, though, it's like you're being moved out of this energy here with this um the six of swords that came out. And then we have the ten of swords that came out too. So yeah, there's a there's gonna be an end to some type of conflict. That's what it looks like. It's almost like wherever you're being like whatever you're mo being moved away from, it's like whatever this conflict is, or it's like maybe it's you could definitely um have like a lot of messy people in your energy. It's almost like they could have been trying to dim your light with the six of swords that came out because her head is down. It's like they were trying to dim your light, but you're being guided out of this situation here to where you can actually shine your light. It's like you don't have to dim your your light for nobody. You don't have to um like you don't have to um kind of like make yourself small pretty much. That's what it feels like. But let's see. Tell me more about this energy here. Tell me more about shining your light for my subscribers, supporters. So yeah, the moon card came out. We got a king of wands that's showing up here too. But yeah, with the moon card coming out, yes, um, you could have had some people projecting onto you as well. It's like it's just giving giving like very much messy energy, but it's like you're you're um you're gonna be moved away from that energy from what I'm seeing here. But yeah, with the moon card, but low key though, it's like you were shining the whole time, like while you were in a dark, it's kind of giving me um, glow in a dark type of energy too. And you could have just been around people with bad vibes too. It's like you were the light in their, in their life too. Let's see, tell me about the moon for my subscriber supporters. Yeah, so we have the chariot coming out and we got this two of wands showing up here. Yeah, with the chariot coming out, I do feel like you guys are moving forward. It's like you're being moved out of this energy, but I do feel like for some people, you could be needing to like pretty much get back in control. It's like you're needing to realize that, or for some people, you could have already realized that like, hey, I was dealing with some people or some energies that was surrounding me. Could be like fake friends too, or I don't know, could be like a work situation. So where um, now you realize that people were dimming your light or trying to make you um, feel small pretty much. But it's like you was the star the whole time. So let's see. Tell 
tell me more, but I feel like someone's moving, someone's um getting away from some type of situation here where um there was a lot of deception too. Tell me more, more about the moon. Give me one more for the moon for my subscribers, supporters. Yeah, six of wands showing up here. So yeah, you're you're being um guided out of this situation here. We got the two of cups. I feel like you're coming into some type of new connection here, or it's like you're coming together with new people um, that are going to be uplifting you, supporting you too. That's what it looks like. For some people, you could be needing to make a choice here in regards to following your heart here with this Knight of Cups. Yeah, it kind of feels like you're doing something alone or it's like pretty much you're just doing what makes you happy with this Knight of Cups. It's like following your heart here um, for whatever, however this could resonate with you. Let me see. Tell me more about this energy. Yeah, five of swords. We got this knight of wands that's coming out too. I feel like this energy is showing up again. Where I was talking about, um, for some people, you could have other people in your um in your energy. They could be trying to stop you from like leaving a situation with this five of swords, and we got this knight of wands that came out. It's like they could be gaslighting you or something. What is this about here? Yeah, because you're walking away. You're closing out a cycle. That's what it is. Because I'm like, why I keep feeling like somebody's trying to stop someone from moving forward or from getting out of a situation where definitely trust your intuition here. Because I feel like someone's about to get cut off or you could be cutting some energies off here. With this Eight of Cups that's coming out in the world card, yeah, it looks like someone's closing out a cycle, but it's like you could have people, it's like whoever you're cutting off, it's like they could be trying to keep you from like not leaving or something. That's what it feels like, but do it anyway because you're going to be very successful. It's like you're closing out a cycle here. You're moving on to the next here. You're walking away from things that no, no longer serve you. It's like even though it could hurt a little, a little bit, it's like you could definitely have some type of um, emotional attachment to whatever you're walking away from, but it's like it's time to, to move on. That's what it looks like. Tell me more about this energy. I'm gonna get one more and I'm gonna go. Tell me more about this energy. Yeah, seven of wands. And we got the Ace of Swords that's coming out here too. For some of you guys, you could definitely need to speak your truth. I feel like, yeah, there's going to be some type of communication to where you could definitely be um, cutting some people off with the Seven of Wands. But I feel like two spirits saying stand your ground as well with the Seven of Wands. It's like you could definitely be wanting to um, set up boundaries too with people. It's like they're trying to pull you down. Like what in the world? What are, what's, what are they blocking? This is seven of wands. Yeah, judgment coming out here. We got everything's fine. So it's like, even though you could be putting things to an end, it's like everything is fine. Yeah, for some people, you could have been, um, you could be going into hermit mode too, or like maybe you did spend some time in solitude, um, or definitely um, spent some time like really going within and figuring out um, possibly like who you had in your energy or something. That's what it looks like. But yeah, with judgment coming out, you're making a decision about going into a new direction because it looks like someone's walking away from a situation here. But I do feel like um, whatever these energies are that's coming up against you, trying to stop you, are like pretty much they're trying to dim your light. Their need is to be blocked completely. Or they need to be at a distance from what I'm seeing here. Because they don't have good intentions. So I'm not really sure what that's about. So I'm going to just end it here, y'all. I hope that this was helpful. And I'll see y'all in, in another read.